have a question for you. Ready? Mm -hmm. Are you dating anyone on a real question? No. Who would I be dating? Do you want to date anyone? Um, I don't. I really Hundreds. don't. How many people DM you? Hundreds. Stop. I'm dying to know. We can get drunk and go through your can DMs. I, yeah, let's go through your DMs. That's like the mm -hmm. most fun. Yeah, hello. I'm feeling really content with my own way of life. And to that, oh my. cheers. Oh my. <laughs> So Sophia called mom to try to connect her and Caitlin and to try to get them on the phone to get some business advice. I mean, mom's the one to get advice from for sure, but I don't, I don't know where mom's headspace is at. So like at this point, what's everybody's relationship like with Kate and Sophia? I mean, I talk to Caitlin every once in a while. Yeah. I talk to Sophia very seldomly, and Kate's probably like every blue moon. But there's not like, it's just because we're busy, it's COVID, it's, they're not like, there's no beef. There's no easy way to say this, except just to say it, because we love you guys all so much, and it's almost like ripping off a Band-Aid. But we just wanted to tell you in person that we won't be going forward with filming the show anymore. I hope you guys feel like respected and appreciated because even if we don't say it, like I think of you guys as my second family and, and I know we're all really, really grateful and when it's happy, it's happy, but when people are there for you, when life sucks, that's what matters. I'm we're not a big talker, but I'm so grateful <laughs> also for everything and for all the experiences. And I just want you guys to know like how much we really appreciate you guys, each and every one of you. Did you get Kendall a present? I did. What did you get? Something for her lake house. Oh, nice. So I started her this collection of Irma's china mm. last year for her birthday. So I got her like teacups and a teapot and all the tea stuff. And then oh, so she for could Christmas, spill the tea. she could spill the tea. Then for Christmas, I added to it and I got her like all the serving platters. So I was thinking I could add to it and get the dishes. So we called so Hermes cool. and then I was like, can you send me photos of what I didn't get yet? And then they just said, I can absolutely do that. But she returned everything that you got her. Stop. I like literally picked out each dish with thought and care. What did she say when you gave them to her? She liked them. I want to be like, you think the joke's on me, you keep returning it. The joke's on you because I'm going to keep buying it. How are you and Kanye doing? There's no fighting. Like now, it's like all calm. Right. So I just, I just roll with it, you know? Kim is dealing with so much right now and it's tough because before we left, her and Kanye had this big fight. I and think he things. deserves someone that can go support his every move yeah. and go follow him all over the place and move to Wyoming. I can't do that. He should have a wife that supports his every move and travels with him and does everything and, and I can't. I feel like a failure that it's like a third marriage. Yeah, I feel like a loser. But I can't even think about that. Like, I want to be happy. Kim is one of the most incredible human beings, literally ever, and she tries to protect their union at all costs, but it's hard when you carry that responsibility on your shoulders, and I just want her to take care of herself, too. 